This year you get James Bubba Stewart, um, possibly the fastest guy out there. Crack out the fine dining, folks. James Stewart is coming to dinner. I'm coming in as the rookie, and I'm coming in to try to spoil everything. So, you know, you can't be, you know, mad at the guy because he wants to come in and beat you up, take your position, or whatever. I think it's just a part of life. I tell you, I ain't scared of them, though. No, no, not at all. I'm not scared of anybody. Bubba's gonna quadruple some section, go for it. Get ready. Oh my. No, I, I don't care. I'm doing my own. I'm doing my own thing. When he wins 108 races, then he's the man. Well, I ain't nothing to mess with. <laughs> and this will be his fifth straight win. Phoenix, Anaheim, San Francisco, Anaheim, and now San Diego, California. Your winner in the 125 main, James Bubba Stewart Jr. This is where James has got to be careful. This is where he gets excited and he goes, uh-oh. The I thing with Vegas, back. like when I got hurt, everything was going good and stuff. You know, I was winning. I won the title. I started pulling whole shots, you know, and just everything was going so good. Incredible. Oh, and James Stewart has just launched off his bike. A horrific accident. The crew will all be down there. They're going to protect him first. And David, this is an absolute disaster. He is moving. It was kind of cool because I got hurt and like it made me realize that man, like all this stuff can end that quickly. You know, from going to the high life or just being in Vegas, just everything going good to waking up the next day and not remembering anything. There's pain. Oh, and Stewart goes down. There's a lot of you know saying that you know what he either wins or he crashes and. I don't want a lot more races than I crash. As far as saying people saying they doubt me or I can, or my riding abilities, like pressure on me is like kind of what feeds me to go. Uh, I think uh, adjusting to the 250 class is it, tough, but I believe uh, you know he's prepared. I mean, if, like there's a challenge out there, and there's something I haven't done, and believe me, before like it's over with, like I will do it. I will have conquered what I came to do. How does this work of the whoop section? He's doing I think James Stewart is methodical. Yeah, I think he's a thinker on the track. I think sometimes he gets in a hurry and wants to do stuff too quick. But, I mean, he hasn't gotten to where he is right now without thinking. If, like, I decided to go rob a bank or be a thug, like, I'll be the worst one ever because I would figure out how to do it. Like, I'll be the best guy like for like stealing something or, or doing something like that like i'll be the best guy because i will take it and master it james stewart is absolutely flying through this course it's the calm before the storm because stewart is coming and he's coming fast like i love when the cameras are here 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 and like i go in the stands and stuff i do my dances to get the crowd into it and stuff i just don't want to be one of those guys that's another racer out there i want to be a little bit different so I think James brings a lot to the plate and a lot to the uh, 250 class. I think he brings a lot of uh, a lot of hype, a lot of excitement, and uh, and a new style of riding. Welcome to Mr. Stewart's world. Okay. Hype is something that's not real. I'm all real here.